Chef Anthony here at Dawn's Appliances. I'm on the Gossy Dome, bone white color. Amazing. I have a cast iron preheating. Woo! We were over 900 degrees in this. We fired a couple of logs of wood in there, cooking on the wood. It's amazing. We're gonna make a couple brats. Nice and easy, okay? I took the brat, I split it down the center, laid it out flat just so we could get a good quality sear on it, okay? Let's look at that cast. Ripping hot. I love this. All right, perfect. Let me grab the brats. Very nice. You could do this with sausage as well, guys. We're gonna pop this right in. We're gonna let it cook for about three minutes to four minutes. It's all it needs at this high temp. But this is amazing for, you know, if you're gonna make pizzas in here later, get your sausage, pizza toppings, grilled sausage sandwiches, really anything. I could add sauce and cheese in this and make a nice sausage bake. Gives you all kind of alternatives, but I really want you to pay close attention to how the technique of how to cook in the cast iron. This could translate to, you know, pork chops, pork loins, uh, cast iron steaks, tomahawks, really anything in the Gosney Dome, you can transition into not just pizzas, but toppings and full dinners. So that's huge. Let's look at this. See, it's already curling up. That's a good sign. You wanna do? Look at that. Very nice. We'll flip this and make sure it's nice and flat. Flat is key here. Get it aerodynamic. Beautiful, right? I just had a thought. What's better for breakfast than some sausage like this? Cook it all out, add a little bit of oil or butter, crack a few eggs in here, it's all in one. This is like campfire cooking on your deck at home. Beautiful. Okay, we've been around about a minute and a half. We probably have another minute and a half to go. Really what we have to do when we're maintaining this wood is look at how much we've soaked the fire. And Gossy makes it nice and easy with our digital reed right here. We're at about almost 959, 960. So at 960 degrees, it's really gonna be, you know, four minutes tops to cook this. You know, when it's gonna be down around eight or seven, you know, that's when we're really thinking about, you know, a little bit lower of a temp, it's gonna take a little longer. So, you know, it takes seven to nine minutes around that time with that decrease. But, you know, the digital temp, you really should pay close attention to that and really feed that fire to a controlled temperature. And once you get, you know, a few clicks on this, I figured, I feel like my third time, second, third time in, I was a little bit more um, comfortable and a little bit better with the uh, temperature. Okay, let's look how beautiful that is. Look at that, those clear juices are what we wanna see. Those, when those clear juices run, we know we're pretty much done. I could put a temp in this guy, but look at that. These are great. These are finished. We could add sauce to these. We could um, add really anything, but I'm gonna put these on a bun. I'm gonna serve these as lunch for you know some lucky cameraman or myself. So, Hope this helps you uh, check out the Gauzy, learn some cast iron cooking, and check out all the variations that you can do on the Gauzy Dome. Enjoy.